So, let's start. Mr. Nuri Sahin, coach of uh, Antalya Sport, uh, you were a fantastic player, but how does it feel to be on the bench uh, and uh, to see football and players uh, from another point of view? Yeah, it's completely, completely different than, uh, than before. You know, before I could interact on the pitch, now I'm interacting off the pitch and trying to help my, my team, my players as, as much as I can, but it's a completely different, different job. <laughs> Uh, you can't compare to each other. And uh, do you have uh, a model, uh, a role model? Because you were trained by uh, Klopp, Tuchel, yeah. Mourinho, Roger, Rogers. Yeah. Uh, do, you, do you have um, something that uh, uh, you bring uh, with your experience from yeah, a player? I, I, I had uh, the privilege to have great coaches, you named them. Uh, of course, Jurgen Klopp is very special for me. Uh, I have a special relationship with him. But I, I try to learn from, from every coach I had and uh, I think also with my idea of football I try to mix it up and bring something, hopefully, hopefully something good out and yeah, role model, if I have to name one, it's Jurgen Klopp always. And what kind of team is Antalya Sport? Because uh, maybe in Napoli uh, m many doesn't know what, uh, what uh, kind of club is and yeah. how can you Antalya explain is, that? Antalya as a city, is a, first of all, is a beautiful city. Is a is a warm city, is a is a ho nice holiday place, and Antalya Spor as a club is a is a club with with good ambitions. Uh, we have some ambitions, but we are still growing as a club and having a, a good president, a good board, a young coach with me, and uh, have an idea of football. We try to play as offensive as possible. Uh, we try to play as attractive as possible, trying to play in the modern way of football. You know, you can think modern way is one way or another. But we try to implement the ideas we have and always thinking offensive, but without, uh, without forgetting the defensive part. Uh, what kind of game Napoli has to expect in, wow. in, in a few <laughs> days? Because uh, yeah. also uh, Spalletti has a, a has a style of playing uh, more offensive. Yes, yes. Uh, like yeah, the, I hope Europe. I hope that I will have a chance to meet Spalletti I, as a as a player. I played against him when he was coach in Zenit. Uh, I like his way. I love the style Napoli is playing. And yeah, we will we will try to play the best way we can. Of course, Napoli is on a different level than we are. But for my players and for me as a young coach, is a is a nice experience to see where we are. You know, even if it's preseason, we can see where we are. And we expect, we hope that we have also the ball sometimes. That we have an idea. We always try. Whoever we play, we try to play football, and it will be. I am sure it will be a nice match to see also Napoli in Antalya is a, is a huge privilege for us. You played in Napoli in 2013-14, yes. Napoli yes. Borussia Dortmund. Do you remember that match? You were on the yeah. pitch, you were also in press conference yes. because I was there. Okay. And uh, uh, do you remember that match, uh, that atmosphere, the yeah. Tifosi yeah. were, were yeah, it was, it was It was very nice uh, for me. It was. Uh, a small dream come true because I remember Napoli always from Maradona and to play in the stadium was for me a, a great thing. Uh, I remember because I had also many ex-teammates in this team. I had Higuain, Albiol, Callejon, they all were playing in this team. A fantastic team at this time. Uh, Gökhan Inler was there, you know, all the good players, great players were there. The na great atmosphere, to be honest. Uh, we lost I remember we lost. Uh, I remember. Insigne scored the goal and Klopp, Klopp uh, got a red card. Yes, and Langerak broke, broke his teeth. His teeth. His teeth. Yes, yes, <laughs> with the free kick of I think Insigne. No, I remember quite well this match. And then in Dortmund we played and we won in Dortmund. Uh, but Napoli is, is history of football, you know, it's, it's fantastic. And what do you think about uh, that Napoli? Because uh, uh, if it is we... now? Yeah. Oh, I love, I love it. To be honest, I love it. I'm a, I'm a huge fan. I wasn't expecting that that they play this kind of football this season. It's fantastic. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Kravetskiel. Uh, when he was in Rubin, I knew him already, and uh, Napoli did a great, great business with him. Uh, fantastic football they play. Very offensive. Very brave. 
very self-confident. Spalletti, I know, as a coach, is also a very modern art of football. Oh, and, and they are now first in the league, doing good and uh, really looking forward to play against them. And uh, in Champions League, you uh, played a final yes. uh, with Borussia Dortmund. Uh, some saying that Napoli, maybe, if uh, lucky, could win. Who they play now? Uh, now uh, Eintracht Frankfurt. Frankfurt. Okay. Uh, so what do uh, they have to expect from yeah. Eintracht because you yeah. played against it? And uh, uh, how does it uh, take to win the Champions League or to uh, do the best? I, I didn't win the Champions League. <laughs> we, we played final. Uh, if you have the, the momentum in the Champions League, this is very important because it's a short, short period. It's not a league. You know, it's like a competition, short competition. If you create a good momentum, and I think Napoli at the moment has a great momentum with the league and winning and winning streak, uh, this can help a lot. Uh, and paired with the, with the talent they have, I think they are favorites against Antwerp Frankfurt. I like also Antwerp Frankfurt. They are doing a great business, uh, uh, great football. But uh, Napoli... Why not? Of course, Champions League to win the Champions League is, is very, very difficult. But uh, Napoli is one of the teams who can win this title. But also the Serie A is a very, very important competition. And I think everyone would be very happy in Neapel if they win the, win the league. There is something uh, that you like from uh, Spalletti style of playing. Have you seen? I, I think yeah, you've seen I, the I, champions and uh, what I like is he doesn't change a lot the system. You know, he he has his style, and uh, if you see the style of play, you see it's a Spalletti team. And for me, as a young coach who is learning, it's very important that you can when I watch football, that I can see. Okay, you see the the mark of the coach, and with Spalletti, it was in, in almost every team. He was it was the same. He wants to play football, and this is the way I love football. Last year, you played uh, against Fenerbahce uh, when, uh, yes. uh, with uh, Kim Min Jae. Yes. Uh, did you surprise uh, his, um, no. his style of defense and the fact that uh, he came to Naples to, uh, after Khalid Koulibaly, which uh, yeah. is uh, one of the best uh, defenders in the world, and uh, he gave almost everything to establish himself uh, like a one of the best defenders here at the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah. Kim Min Jae is, first of all, it was fantastic scouting from, from Fenerbahce first and then from Neapel also to bring Kim Min Jae. Uh, we, everyone in Turkey was a big, big fan of him. When he came to Turkey, immediately he showed what kind of a defender, what kind of football, modern defender he is. He's very brave, he dribbles with the ball, he is in a build-up very good. And he's very fast defending wise he's very good it's for me it's no surprise maybe for the people in italy because i know him from turkey already but it's it's nice to see also that people that football players going out from turkey like elif elmas also in your team uh, coming from the turkish league going to europe and succeeding is very important for turkish football also You've talked about uh, Kuica Kvartskelia, uh, also Viktor Osimen is a, is a big player of Napoli. Uh, did they remember uh, you, uh, some players from the past? Because... Uh, uh, mm, it, from Napoli? For, from the history of football, uh, some, someone who uh, can, uh, you can uh, see in Kvartskelia and Osimen's style of play. Oh, in the style of play, okay. Oof. Kraus Keller is a very, very, very interesting player. Uh, the last who played like him, I don't know. It's very difficult. S someone said that yeah. George Best, I think. I don't remember George <laughs> okay. Best. Okay, <laughs> neither I. Yeah, I don't remember George Best, but Kraus Keller is, you know, I like football players who wants the ball. When you go to Liverpool, he wants the ball. When you go to Milan, he wants the ball. When you lose, he wants the ball. When you win, he wants the ball. And Kravac Kela is this type of player. I, I, comparing players with each other is for me always very, very difficult because you put so much pressure under these players. We had 55 new Messi's, but there's only <laughs> one Messi, you know, and uh, 55 Maradonas, there's one Maradona. So Kravac Kela is Kravac Kela and he's doing a fantastic job. Osimen, I know from Germany, he was in Wolfsburg, I yeah. think. Uh, I know him. Uh, very interesting. 
how we developed after Wolfsburg, how we grow up. Uh, yeah, fantastic scouting again from from Naples. I, if I if I say that uh, Stanislav Lobotka reminds me something about the Nuri Sahin player <laughs> style play. <laughs> it's like, just, we we are we are at the moment we are analyzing uh, Napoli, and my assistant coach was the coach of Lobotka in Ajax. Oh, okay. And he knows them very well, and we just spoke about it. Yeah, also him, he's he's doing a great job. He's, but what is very interesting for me when you go to Neapel, you become a better player, and a lot of players who go there, they become a better player. Lobotka the same, and he's doing a great job there. Very smart, you know, play with the brain, and I like I like very much Napoli. It really is so many talented players. This is Zelinski. Uh, Crazy player for me is very good. Uh, the last two, uh, the the first one, you said about uh, modern football. Mm -hmm. What is modern football? Because uh, I think that <laughs> there is only one football, my friend. Yeah, there but, is only but one I think football. it's it's a circle to yes. um, to see the style of playing. Yeah. Uh, now is World Cup time, and you see uh, some teams want the ball, they want to play. Some team doesn't want the ball. They say we wait second zone and then we attack from transition. So what is modern football? We can say modern football is now what some teams doing, sitting back and attacking. And modern football, we can say now you have the ball, you want to play, you want to build up from the goalkeeper. Football, there is only one football game. So we can speak. For you, modern football is different. For me, modern football is different. What I like is that, that my team decides like we want the ball, we play. That's this is what I want, because when you give the ball away, you have to wait always. And I am very impatient. I don't like to be patient, to be honest. And I want the ball, but against Napoli, we have to be patient because mostly they will have the ball. So modern football. I don't know. Really, we speak so much about this. I love this topic also to speak about football, but I I can't tell you what is modern football. If you win. If you win, it's all good. <laughs> every everyone will say this is the modern football. So if you score on last minute with a no this, goal, yeah, it's good. <laughs> the football changed a lot. So for me, modern football for me is when you have the ball and you decide what to do. But for someone else, can be different. So how to how we to, will finish our match? <laughs> uh, for me, really, it's uh, the the score is not important. For me, of course, we we want to win, but. Uh, for me, it's very important that we that we see where we are. You know, for me as a young coach, to to see and learn life and to feel life. What what a big team like maybe the best in Europe at the moment, form wise, what they do. For my players, I have many young players. For them, it's good to play against great players. They they see okay, I need to do this to come there. You know, if you play against Kravetskela. So for my right back, it will be new experience. All these things are very important to, for us also as a club to grow. And that's why we are looking very forward to the match. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.